had seen uh, Johnny Cunningham in concert in New York or Boston someplace, and he scared me to death. He said he got a, he had recently got a card from his grandmother, and it said, we're born in pain, we live in sin, and we die alone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> We're not all as happy as that. <laughs> but they seemed to calm down. They weren't that way with me. We had a pretty good time. Oh, you were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> You've got steam coming out here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> they like this little song. Um, this is from Charlie Poole and the North Carolina Ramblers, another early uh, string band, country music band. But they sang anything they wanted to, of course, as good traditional singers do, whatever they like. Like Tink Tillett, Charles Tillett singing the Harry Lauder song. Yeah. So this is a 1904 pop song from Tin Pan Alley in New York. Come take I'm take a trip in my airship, oh, which he called I Once Loved a Sailor. You know the, the chorus, sing it with me. He says, Come take a trip in my airship. Come have a sail around the stars. Come take a trip into Venus. Have a sail round the bar. No one to tell while we're kissing. No one to tell while we spoon. Come take a trip in my airship. We'll visit the man in the moon. Thank you. 
school in Swannanoa, North Carolina, in the West. And I had the popularity of that song at its time in 1904 brought home to me when a woman said, I, 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 that song reminds me, my grandmother used to sing a parody of that. Huh? Her, her grandmother moved from Germany to the States, early 1900s, got a job in um, Kaufman's department store in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which later became part of Macy's. And sang this little song. It said, uh, Come take a trip in my airship down to Kaufman's great store. I worked in the notions department. I did, but I don't anymore. <laughs> a lady came in to buy garters. I asked her what kind she wore. She lifted her skirts and said, Rubber. I did, but I don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can you resist that? It's such a uh, I usually hate parodies because they wipe out the original. <laughs> it's too short. In that case, it's worth it. <laughs> Say what? How many more do you want to lift this hard? Seven. Yeah. <laughs> you want one, two, or three? One or yeah, one or two. Okay, let's do this. Um, I always have to play the little dancing guy. He's part, you know. He gets me out of so many scraps, bad places in primary schools. I once rashly made him the promise I'd let him play wherever I was, even for a sophisticated adult audience. <laughs> I brought my camera along just for you. So I'll do this and then we'll get the little guy and then we'll, we'll get our beer. <laughs> it's just in Richmond, Virginia last month and was reminded that it's the next year will be the 150th anniversary of the beginning of the American Civil War. So Stunning because I was around for the hundredth anniversary. Of the <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's going to be a lot more talk about it and all. But this is this is a I've never done this for anybody, but it's such a remarkable song. Uh, I think I'll be doing it more given what next year is. It's uh, got it from Basil Lamar Lunsford, who was a like a judge in Western North Carolina in the 1930s, but he was very aware of the mountain music and wanted to preserve it. He started a little folk festival which some people think is the beginning of team clogging, you know, where right, before that it was all um, individual people doing flat foot dancing, and it became a stage, put it on a stage, well, how are we going to get everybody to see it? Uh, Bastion Lamar Lunsford recorded for the Library of Congress and did this song called Booth Shot Lincoln, which you probably know. Um, four days after we surrendered to Grant at Appomattox to end the uh, American Civil War, uh, John Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln in Washington, D.C. at the Fourth Theater. And this song is, it's immediate. So I'll do it, and then I'll do the dance tune that came from it that people just sit around and play to this day. Oh, 
standing round, for God's sakes, take the man. Bilks Booth, dressed in boot and spur, he walks the backstage floor. He mounts his trusty clay bag, they're all saddled at the door. John Wilkes Booth and his last play, all dressed in broadcloth deep. He gallops down the alleyway, you can hear his horse's feet. And Lincoln then was heard to say, and all has gone to rest. All the actors in this town, I love Wilkes Booth the best.